Hello, Mr. Holtzman. My name is Ian at the Nicholas Center. I am thrilled to meet you and see the film. I understand this story is based on true life. Can you tell me what this means to you? If you met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. Yeah, so that, that phrase has sort of been the, the bedrock of our entire process in creating this musical because I think um, to most people, autism is sort of, they have an idea in their head of what autism is or what an autistic person might be like, but I think what we've all learned and most people who work with autistic people know is that autism is different in every single person. And so the idea that if you've met one autistic person, you've met one autistic person is just that, you know, we're not trying to say that autism is a one size fits all situation. It's different on every person. Okay. Wow. I, before I go to the next question, that that's exact same experience I had. I usually been afraid, fearful, and of what I'm about to do, and I never always think, but I'm grown up, and I'm 22 years old, and I'm ready to make changes and start the night for mine. That's amazing. Will you tell us about the journey from film to Broadway? Has anything surprised you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a long journey. So it, it started with the composer, Jacob Yandora. He discovered the film and he said when he saw it that it sang to him immediately. He saw it as a musical right away. And so I had recently met him and he shared the idea with me and my producing partners. And we also watched the movie and thought it was a beautiful story and could see how it would work on stage. And that's sort of how it started. And from there, um, Jacob and Rebecca, the writers, were able to go to Columbus, Ohio, and meet the um, real documentary subjects at the Amigo Family Counseling Center, which sort of inspired them to go even further and to expand the story to include more characters based on people that they met there. But essentially, um, it's pretty straightforward. The documentary sort of set up the premise for what the story of the show would be, knowing that they're planning the spring formal and watching them going through the motions. But uh, to take a documentary and make it fit for the stage, you also have to add conflict and drama and more character. So they definitely took some artistic liberties in making the story uh, more dramatic and have more stakes. But that's that's basically the process. Yeah. When you said what's saying to you, I think the Book of Mormon saying to me, you must have had lots of autistic actors try out for the play. How did that go? Yeah, that was actually one of the greatest parts of the whole experience because while we were writing the show, our intention was always to cast autistic actors, but none of us had ever really worked with autistic actors before, so we just didn't know what the talent pool was like or how many folks were out there that would be interested in auditioning. And so we did our first casting call in um, the summer of 2021 for a reading, which was just one week. They just read the script out loud. Um, it's not very glamorous. It doesn't pay very well. So we just didn't have high expectations. And from that first casting search, we got hundreds of submissions. And we could have cast the show seven or eight times, which was a really positive moment for us of like, oh, wow, this community is out there. This community is immensely talented. We're going to have no problem um, casting the show for Broadway and for the future. And it, it just showed me that like these actors and this community exists. And I'm excited to take the show to London and get to meet that community there and take the show all over the world into all different places where we can sort of tap into and meet this amazing creative community that I know exists everywhere. How has the play been received in a feeder community with the public too? It's been received really, really well. Um, I get emails every day from people who come and see the show and talk about just how moving it was. I think specifically for disabled audience members, they are feeling welcome and seen in a way that they never have in a Broadway theater before. People are seeing themselves and feeling seen in our show is so important, but I, I also don't think it's only a show for disabled people or people who are connected to autism. It's really a show about humanity and a show about connecting with human beings. And I think using the lens of the spring formal, which is something that everyone in our country experiences in some way or another, is such like a relatable moment. Everyone knows what it feels like to ask somebody to their first dance or to go dress shopping and all of those emotions and all those feelings. So I think it's a really human show. And I think, I don't think there's a person that couldn't find themselves in our story. Wow. Just wow. I will say thank you so much. I look forward to seeing the film and the play. Thank you so much. Oh. It's so great to meet you.